Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 58. In this segment, uh, it, this is going to be a terrible race. I'm just going to tell you right now, this is going to be an awful race. We're going to Texas for our next Bush race, the O'Reilly 300. 50 laps of me chilling in last because I'm, spoiler alert, I'm going to be starting last. Hello, race fans. EA Sports welcomes you to the Lone Star State. Texas Motor Speedway is the place for today's exciting NASCAR Bush Series event, the O'Reilly 300. We couldn't ask for a better day, and track conditions are absolutely perfect. Look for some extremely fast laps early on as these drivers set the pace quickly. Pull up a seat and kick off your boots. Bush Series Racing is next. And before Jimmer's still here. Oh, the intro's already done. Okay. So, yeah. Um... My car's so shit around here that I wasn't even able to get the, uh, the, the, uh, the good qualifying. I'm starting dead fucking last. I was two tenths behind Biffle, who's starting 42nd. Very good. So away we go, here at Texas. And, uh, yeah. At most 50 laps of me chilling in last. I'll, considering what I'm expecting my pace to be, it'll probably be me. It'll probably be ugh, probably. Words are hard. Uh, be 48 laps of me chilling in last. Because this car has less than no grip around here, especially entering turn three. So yeah, I hope you're ready for an unforgettable luncheon. Because, uh... I ain't gonna be steaming any hams. Oh well. We can chill and chat, I guess. Or something. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> don't know, man. It's like, oh, hey, look, I might actually be able to keep up, and then I go to turn three, and the car is just like, I want to go straight. And it's like, okay, bye, everybody. Whoa. If I enter turn three a little lower, I can get a little more grip. Maybe. Don't really know. Ah, oh, shit. I want to be gay, because you're fucked, and I want to savor it, but it's cool. After smashing that wall, I'll PayPal you 2k. So, uh, I think that solidified the, uh, the sadness there, that wall smack. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone else. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Let's just drive on the apron, why not? Run the Larson line. There is no fucking Larson line in this game. It's only the bottom. Be cool if I could use the Larson line in this game. My next NASCAR LP should be like Heat 2 or something just because just so I can like actually run the high line. Because it's actually enjoyable. Just fucking driving around cars on the outside. Because momentum! Empty box, Kyle Larson, yeah. Ooh. 
Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus Christ. By God. When you don't park the start and park car, this is what you get right here in front of your face. Oh god. I want a Rhino Bobby movie now. Fucking cast me for Talladega Nights 2. Not even cast me, cast me for the lead. Fuck Will Ferrell, I'm the real Ricky Bobby. Jesus. Is there IROC cars in this game, or do I remember wrong? I think you're remembering wrong, Arrow. Also, hi. Hi, Dad. Hi, other Dad. Both Dads have appeared, at least briefly, tonight. Awesome. I mean, there's another type of race car in this game, but I'm not going to spoil that for the actual, like, LP viewers. Ooh, ooh until it happens. Ooh. Aren't I just a little cheeky bastard? Been watching IROC all day. The old IROC was pretty neat. Like, IROC series. Uh, Jimmer was in the YouTube chat. For a bit. Probably either went to bed or is just lurking. So what's the other kind of car in the game? Not telling. IROC was cool. The only thing that sucked was like the NASCAR drivers had the like obvious super advantage because, you know, it was a NASCAR support race or series. Basically. I kind of want to watch, like, some IROC races, because I fucking watched the, uh, the Frisky Nixon video about Alex Zanardi when he did IROC. The same year that he, like, d dominated Kart, he fucking crashed in every IROC race. It's like, oh, well then. I want to recreate it in Forza. Dude, I would... Yes. I would yes. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I think I was trying to say that'd be awesome, but I started my sentence with I, and that's not the correct word, so I just kind of stopped thinking. Ah, shit. So I haven't lost as much, uh time to everyone as I was expecting. Not gonna lie, I was expecting to lose at least like a second a lap. But um, that's not the case, at least so far. Of course once my tires wired out, I'm sure it'll, the average will uh, go to that. Even though Daytona kind of sucks to race on Forza. I mean, Daytona sucks in general. Well, at least the Speedway. It's too long. The only thing Daytona's good for in Forza is uh, money grinding. With an Indy car. I race in Daytona is a huge meme. I mean, I could do the undercut, but it wouldn't change anything. Because I'd have even less grip at the end of the race, and, well... With my car at optimum... Like, with my tires at, like, optimum grip, I'm... I can just barely keep up with the tail end of the field. 
undercuts don't work in NASCAR, and they just don't really work in this game. I mean, undercuts can work if you, like, are lucky and get a, like, conveniently timed caution, but, you know. When your car is shit at the start, strategy is just kind of thrown out the window. Oh, here come the short pitter, so we're thin, uh, fuel range to make it to the end. If we pit now, which I'm not going to, instead I'm just going to drift around the corners. Hey guys, my tires are worn. Don't know if you knew. I'd say the only thing that could like help me maybe catch up is uh, through rubber banding shenanigans if I like pit as late as possible. And then the game's just like, oh hey, a bunch of guys just passed you in quick succession. Let me just slow these guys down a bit for you. But I don't see that even that helping me out enough. Or at all. Hello, T-York. Talladega is the long boy. Yeah, Talladega is, like, worse than Daytona. Aha! Fuck my ass. Ooh. That was only a light kiss, somehow. And not a just complete whack a lack of the wall. I'm actually surprised about that. If there's one good thing that um is kind of happening here is that I well except for the exit of turn two, I've got a fairly decent rhythm going here. I'm still, like, fucking up a lot, but when I don't fuck up immensely, I'm able to keep my car slow on the track as possible. Can't wait for, like, the one second of repairs in pits. Pocono is best triangle. Okay, never mind, fuck it. Rhythm is gone. I just had to mention something, didn't I? <laughs> Gee, how can I make this race worse? I know. Let's try to talk about something positive. Right, lab 25. And considering, like... Nothing's going to help me here. I might as well go ahead and pit. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get on the brakes a little too soon, but I don't give a shit. And I'm going to finish last anyway, so fuck it. Fuck it. You're not at, you're not at Darlington. I think I have more fucking stripes here than I did at Darlington. Somehow. Still can't believe I finished that right finished Darlington in second with this car. Is Pocono fun, yes or no? I think Pocono is fun. It's a pretty difficult track, but I think it's fun. Alright, service is done, back to last I go. Just stay on the access road, don't get in the way of the leaders. So frickin' Casey Atwood's leading this race. Well then.
And low junior. He's so special he actually gets his fucking his name called by the spotter. Oh yeah, pixelated road debris. Oh, okay. I'm going down low. Ooh, that was close. Holy shit. All clear. I'm being the ultimate asshole right now, considering context. I'm two laps down and I'm actually racing hard against these guys. At least I was. Oh please. Holy shit. Fucking talk about closing the door. Alright, everyone else is starting to pit, so. That's cool, I guess. And there they go. I was, I was, I was uh, expecting. I'm like, all right, Kenny's running pretty low here. He's not moving from the bottom. He's definitely pitting now. Sure enough, that is exactly what happened. You're being Dale Jarrett. Clearly. Good old fucking when Dale Jarrett ran the 44. I.e. way past his prime. Actually, when, when did he start driving the 44? I don't remember. Hey, look, I'm almost a lap down now. I lost... Oh, God. <clears throat> I actually lost a lot of time through that uh, pit cycle. Whoa. Crazy. Shocking. This is going well. Yes. I mean, I'm beating my prediction. I thought I was going to end up finishing two laps down, but it looks like I'm only going to finish one lap down, so... There's that. Ah, uh, DJ Rant started 44 in 2006, I see. I see, I see, I see. Doing better in a starting park. I mean, this is about how well a starting park would do if they actually didn't park. So, you know. Honestly, thought you were going four laps down. Yeah, I can see it. Kind of a shame the track that my car is the worst at is the most common track in NASCAR. You know, the mile and a half. With either the sweeper or the two kinks on the front straight. Depends on the location.
even Furniture Row was a starting park for a bit there. And now look at him. Fucking absolutely dominated last year. Honestly, I think what helped Furniture Row like take off is when Regan Smith won at Darlington. That shit was awesome. Oh god. Have I been actually driving faster than Atwood these last few laps? What the fuck? I swear I was 29 seconds behind a few laps ago. Rubber banding. Yeah. Do starting parks still exist? I don't think so, Harry. There aren't enough entries. At least not in the Cup Series, I don't know. This is the best race I've seen in a long time, I know, right? This is what will make me go viral, this race right here. Some rando, like, is gonna, like, share the stream with a popular YouTuber, and he's gonna be like, Wow, this is fucking awesome! Check this guy out! Jake Paul's gonna suck my dick. PewDiePie's gonna fuck a body pillow of me. Well, there's stupid shit, can I say? <laughs> Rice Gum's gonna make a diss track about me. Is there th 43rd is my position? Because I'm in last. 43rd. Because me car is shite. Also, the driver is shite. Markiplier gonna eat my ass. Now I'll be so popular, Dr. Disrespect is gonna respect me. Oh. Oh god, tire wear. Okay, nine laps to go. Eight for Casey. Fuck. Understeer, how you doing? I think we've reached the part where rubber banding can't even save me now. Maybe. Or I can just gain a tenth down the front straight, alright. Nope, I'm losing it, okay. done. Still not my worst bush race. I'm gonna finish on the lead lap. It's a miracle! I know, right? CS Monarch, this is the bush series. Size 2003 Darlington was my favorite NASCAR race. Uh, 2012 Watkins Glen. Like, holy shit, that fucking, those final, like, couple laps between, uh, Bush, Keselowski, and Ambrose were incredible. Shit. Aww, I'm sad now. Twat boy took the lead. <laughs> Yeah, 
Damn it, Kyle. Why do you have to ruin everything by existing? Trying to think of other favorite NASCAR races, or at least finishes. I'm more thinking like in terms of favorite finishes, because I can't really think like think of entire races that are like favorites. Oh, Harvick Gordon in two th Atlanta 2001 was incredible. And yeah, you know, the fucking the, the feels, man, the feels. Play GT4, please. But I already did. It's on my channel. Full Let's Play, 100%. Shit, fuck balls. Okay. Three to go. Or if Twat Boy catches me, two to go. Um, what other great NASCAR finishes have there been? There was that fucking 4x4 finish at what, I guess Talladega, back when they had the the tandems, which I greatly prefer over pack racing, by the way. Like, I greatly prefer the tandem drafting over pack racing. You actually give the cars room to do things, and not crash, like, and not have a 30 car pileup every time someone sneezes. But yeah, that's just my unpopular, shitty opinion. I'm actually going to finish every lap, holy shit. This is actually not expected. Nice. I like how they're still driving full speed behind me, despite them actually being, like, done. Race over, let's go fast. Yeah, dead last at Texas. Texas? Texas. This was Texas, right? <laughs> I don't know. And Kyle Bush wins, what a fucker. NASCAR pin tandems because it's gonna cause terrible wrecks. Meanwhile, as opposed to the terrible wrecks that they already have at Daytona and Talladega. Damn it, Casey, all you had to do was lead five more laps, but no. Oh well. So here's the results of this race, of which I was no factor, even from the start, because I started last. So there you go. Hey, Frisky Nixon finished uh, 42nd. Neat, I suppose. Pretty sure most of the highlights of this race were me just driving by myself. Well, got some hero points with the very little interaction with any other driver I had in this race, I guess. Oh, okay. We finally got the angry boy confronting me after what happened at Bristol. Question is, is this uh, Yaley or... <laughs> These fucking animations. Is this Yaley or... Uh... Ashton? Oh man, I'll tell you what. I don't know what you did, but you managed to get that guy pretty hot under the collar. He was calling me up, looking to see what was going on. I didn't know what to tell him. I figured I needed to talk to you first. So tell me, how do you want me to handle this? It was Yaley. Alright, well. There's that. I'm expecting after this next bush race that Ashton Lewis is gonna be like, What to heck, man? What did you do at what you do at Bristol? Why did why did I run into you while you were crashing, man? What the fuck? Oh no. Kyle, you need to get away from the points lead. Let Mark win, please. Anyways, my fucking seesaw uh, bush championship continues to seesaw, now down to 23rd. Up and down, and up and down, and up and down, and up and down. So 23rd, that's actually pretty good, considering, you know, I'm in a one-star car. But that'll do it for this segment. That sure was a expected outcome. So, 
that, we'll move on to yet another bush race next time. So with that, stay tuned for more NASCAR.